There have been times in the last four plus years when we thought that Tiger Woods would never rise again, never find the magic and talent that guided him to 14 major titles. We thought about it when he withdrew from tournaments. I tried to activate my glutes as best I could uh, in between, uh, but it just, they never stayed activated. And when he underwent back surgery, we thought about it when he returned too quickly, only to injure himself again. I never got put to the hole. And again. He says it's not the nerve pain that's kept him out for so long. He says it's a back spasm. Um, and he, can't, he just can't get the spasm to calm down. When he did play, a shell of his former self, we watched him humiliate himself with shots like this and scores like this. And while his game deteriorated inside the ropes, his life came apart outside of it. I've arrested and charged Eldrick Tiger Woods with DUI for 22 chapter 316. If this wasn't rock bottom for Woods, then it was as close as he'd ever want to get. After a spinal fusion, he even doubted whether he would ever play again. There is no timetable for this. So where is the light at the end of the tunnel? I, I don't know. But now, Woods has not only gotten up off the mat, he's risen to the top of the game. He showed flashes of brilliance earlier this year and came close to winning at the Open Championship. And to me, that is just the hallmark of a champion. He keeps coming back for more. Too old? No. Too broken down? Apparently not. Too much young talent to beat? Ha! This is Tiger Woods, once again. Now that was vintage Tiger Woods there. It may not be as dramatic as Ben Hogan winning a U.S. Open after being pulled from a car crash, but Woods' victory marks a remarkable resurrection of a career that many of us had thought was over and done. It is a sporting phenomenon that has once again turned the golf world into a frenzy. And Tiger, it seems, is just getting ready to start all over one more time.